watch this film this week and it is a mind i may say so it's fair i i I loved it it is it's like being by a giant brain (laughs) rumors is a, a satire about a g7 meeting that goes wrong um, because of, it's the apocalypse but at the same time it's a cracking comedy about how irresponsible we all are we are also here to produce a draft of a provisional statement regarding the present crisis we should not forget that it is important to say what we mean yes of course people look to us to provide clarity the title of this film apparently is a reference to the fleetwood mac album rumors um is that true and if so um, what is the connection it's a, such a strange title when you know that the film is about you know meeting of the G7 and them trying to solve the global crisis, but the, they quite like the fact that you know during that album, notoriously Fleetwood Mac were all sleeping with one another and bickering and falling apart, and um, and that the theme of this year's summit in the film is regret, and so you know they like the interface between the, the regrets that Fleetwood Mac may have and the great music. They um, they put out and uh, and the G7 um, being pursued by bog monsters. What were they then? Terrorists? They loomed threateningly. Protesters. That's what I thought to at first. He regrets not being taken too seriously by the people. Uh, he regrets being um, a noxious teenager towards his father. But mostly, I think he's uh, isolated because he dreams of being of greatness of being in the history books and uh, it's not going to work this way so he's uh, very lonely he regrets not being the napoleon he was supposed to become mm. yes i think the interesting thing is they're all about to step down they're all at the end of their leadership but yet they're not talking about the legacy they'll leave behind or the things they have achieved and i think that it was such a there's a lot of cultural cliches deliberately in the movie and there's a lot of deliberate gender cliches that are in the movie and so I find it really funny given how few examples there are of female leadership around the world I mean hopefully if people go out and vote Kamala Harris might be one but um, there really aren't that many it's a thing that's always leveled at female um, leaders about whether they have children or not so I think it's a cliche in a way that, that Hilda's regretting perhaps that she didn't have children or perhaps that she didn't get married or, you know, because it's such a cliche that's always leveled at female leaders. Denis, how about you? What, what hook do you for this film? Working with me. Working with <laughs> Kate Blanchett was yeah. amazing. She's the best <laughs> iconic actress in the world. Well done. Well, but you knew, um, <laughs> yeah, I've got I for you. <laughs> no. no, but I think as I'm from France, obviously, and for me, it's such an amazing thing to be in, like those little movies. As a movie fan, when I was like a teenager, I would lose my mind over mm. movies like this, and now I'm a part of it with her and Guy, and <laughs> yeah, it was in all the, the the cast. So as a movie nerd, I couldn't be happier. I'm about to pop. But I said, you know, when we were when we were thinking of casting it, they they mentioned your name, and I said, do you think you can get him? <laughs> it was like, no, you're incredibly That's busy and you're true. incredibly choosy and you're incredibly gifted. And, and so when the cast started coming together, it was like... <sighs> it is very important to choose, especially in, in my country, because we have more a culture of auteur, film d'auteur.